Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Stacy with Bow Race Cajun QZ. I hope you have had an awesome week. All right, so today we're gonna do some Jamaican jerk jackfruit, uh, some green beans, and some fried corn. I have never showed you guys how to fry this corn, so let's do it. All right, let's get started. So um, I'm gonna move all of this stuff out of our way. And for you guys uh, that like creamy mac and cheese, of course, I'm always making some creamy mac and cheese because that's what I do. Look at that. And it has spinach in it because that is my You Gotta Have It Bowls, which is uh, creamy mac and cheese with spinach in it over, uh, no, not over, with smoked salmon on top of it. This thing All right, first thing first, let's start on these green beans. So we're going to go ahead and turn this pot on. Let's go, we're gonna use some canned green beans, not fresh. We are using canned. Um, any brand, I'm not, you know, partial to any brand, it doesn't matter. All right, we're gonna rinse off the tops of them. Get my can opener out. And then we're gonna mix some, we're gonna put some butter in this, in the pot, and then we're gonna put some garlic, not garlic. Yeah, why not? Let's do a little minced garlic. And onion, that's what I was trying to get to, the freaking onion. All right, let's rinse off these cans and get these open. All right, you're gonna wanna drain the water off. So yeah, I'll be moving you guys around this kitchen. So you're gonna wanna, um, there you go, focus. You're gonna wanna drain the water off of them. All right, you don't want that. Off of the air. I don't know that you even need to hear all of this. Or you can see all this part. But anyway, we got that getting warm. Let's go ahead and put some butter in there. That would have been three tablespoons. And like y'all already know, I use real butter. All right, no margin, no none of that other stuff. If you're gonna do it, just go on and do it. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing around with it. If you're gonna put grease in your batter, go and put the right grease in there. Natural butter. Come from the cow. <laughs> All right. They're going. I'm going to turn it up because I am, like I said, pressed for time. So we're going to cut some onion in here. It keeps trying to focus, so I guess it need more light. There you go. All right. And you want that to be sauteed in there real good before you add the green beans in there. Once you add the green beans in, we're gonna put some minced garlic in there. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're gonna put the minced garlic in right now. Get a little of that in there. Yeah. It just adds flavor, baby. And what we got going on back there, y'all, some fish soaking in some uh, milk. Because I want to do some black and catfish. Yeah, so I'm going to do a Facebook Live and do some black and catfish. You know what I'm saying? Um, you are not a, um, if you're not even on Facebook, I mean, I get it, I understand. You know, I understand. But if you are on Facebook and you are not my friend and you are not following the Bow Race Cajun Cuisine, Business page, I need you to go over there. We're going to be family, let's be family everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Instagram as well. All right, so let's go ahead and I need an eye. So we're going to use this eye right here. We're going to use this cast iron skillet to fry our corn in. So let's go ahead and yes, we are using uh, gotta touch that out. All right. Yes, we are using canned corn, and we're going to drain the water off of it as well. Yep. Get that going. Turn that up. You're gonna need some butter. 
You are gonna have to have you some butter. So get that, get that going, all right? They heat it up. I might have to dry it out because it's moving swiftly. You're gonna need a bell pepper for your fried corn and you're gonna need some onion. All right? For all that water off of the uh, corn and off of the green beans, you're not going to need that water. You're going to fill it up. Uh, you can use faucet water, but you're not going to use canned water. Bell pepper. All right. So I like to use different colors in the uh, corn. So... Let's get this rinsed out. The skillet is getting nice and hot like we need it. Our onion and garlic is doing this thing. So I'll let y'all see that. It's doing this thing. Yeah. Out on the rice, but no music playing in the background. None of this. I swear. All right, our skillet is hot like we need it to be, so let's go ahead and put our butter in there. All the while, I'm over here trying to get these. Yeah, that's a that's about good, like uh three tablespoons. That might be even three and a half. All right. So you want to dice your onion? Don't dice it like I'm dicing it. Put it on the cutting board. <laughs> yes, she is. How about that? Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> you don't need no man if he ain't no good. Bell pepper in there. Y'all know who Jody is. <laughs> I understand. Just Alright, we almost done with that. We're done. Alright, we'll get this third. Real good, okay? Single woman. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Alright, so now that our onion and 
garlic is where we need it to be. We pour in our green beans. Then we're gonna take a can of water. So you feel that same can, one can, just one, with water. That's it, okay? Then you're going to add in, we're gonna put in a little parsley, just a little, not a whole lot, a little people. Please know what a little bit means. I'm gonna put some salt in there. A little bit more salt, okay. Some salt, garlic powder. You got the minced garlic in there, but a little garlic powder. About a tablespoon, or oh, about a teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. And some onion powder, even though you have the onion in there. like that. Alright, then you're going to get that a nice stir. And let it boil down. I like to add in just a little, like a tablespoon of butter. And just let that boil down. Alright, back to this fried corn. And you got that mix real good, right? Alright, so pour in the corn. I don't believe Alright, so now I'm going to add in a little purple onion. So probably like what we want to see <laughs> purple onion all right i just need a little bit not a whole lot all right and with this i want it in slivers not diced like i did the uh other onion the white onion the yellow onion just like this Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Crank that heat up on that. And now you gotta season it. So you're gonna season it with a little smoked paprika. I say a little, a lot. <laughs> Some garlic powder. My Aunt Cardi is telling me this. As a little girl. So when I would go to Arkansas with my dad, because that's where his side of the family is from, Emerson, Arkansas, my uncle Cardio would say, You're a girl, you have to come in here and help me cook. So we would set the, your, your job is to set the table for the men. It's like men folk. <laughs> and cook. So that's what I did. All right, we need a little more contrast and color in here, so we're going to add in some red bell pepper. Yeah, we are. Okay, we're going to add in some red bell pepper. All right. So, put some red in there. And you're gonna have to add in some salt and sugar. And you'll see here shortly. Let's get all this in there real good.
And these little sweet mini bell peppers, you can just eat them as a snack. They're really good. Really freaking delicious. And healthy. Very healthy. Alright. So that's done. Yeah, the stir. Let's go ahead and put a little um hold on y'all, let's put in a little salt. Alright, let's put some cracked pepper in there. turn the light down there you go so this is it it is young green jackfruit in brine so we're going to take the brine off of it okay all right don't forget to stir that corn because it'll start sticking to the skillet and you don't i mean that's just gonna make it taste really good because it could be charred a little bit but that's not what we're trying to do here so stir it all right let me Y'all probably 
look like she is really losing that weight. All right, so yes, I have been still drinking a flat belly tea. I went about two weeks without drinking it, but I still was going to the bathroom uh, regularly. All right, so the corn is ready. It's ready, so you can turn it off. All right, it's gonna continue to fry. Can you see all that gooey, 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 gooey goodness in there? You see all that in there? Alright, so that's it. We're done with it. Green beans are just cooked until whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we got this all going back there. And we're going to take this jack fruit. And what we're gonna do to the jackfruit, we're gonna, it looks like little uh, chunks, right? Cause it is. It's chunk mode, you know what I'm saying? Right there. It's like little pieces of later. See, it looks like meat, right? Y'all see that? It looks meaty. Okay, so I'm going to cut it into a, uh, chunk like this. I don't really want it to start to turn it down. But I'm throwing it in there, so I'm cutting it in the chunk. Just like that. Nice little chunk. So each chunk, you could probably get about four, three or four pieces out of each one. If you can get five, go for five. They like, they share, they all of it, um, the notifications bell, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, do all that right there, right there. When you're in the kitchen, you know, you can dance, find your favorite music, and do it, you know. Find your favorite music, baby. Just be good to me. She's a chef about the other girls. They'll be good to her. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to know what this tastes like, uh, before you add in all these seasonings and make it taste good, it doesn't really have a flavor. Honest, be honest with you. It honestly does not have a flavor. Like, seriously. It just does And you're gonna need a lime, all right? Oh, there, there, there. Get a little mist uh, onion in there. If you're gonna cut your onion like this, be sure to not push the knife all the way through. And don't cut yourself. My ain't read a top, I guess. It's important to teach kids everything that we know. Um, we wonder why they can't function in the world. It's because we're not teaching them. We're like, oh, okay, just hurry up, grow up, and then we boot them out to the world, and it's not fair. It's freaking not fair. That's what happened to me. It's not fair. 
But I learned a lot, you know what I'm saying, the hard way. I mean, I learned it. I learned it. It was the hard way, but I learned it. All right, so I just put a little minced garlic in there. And so I'm going to give this a nice little stir. All right. It's nice little stir and now we're about to add in all of the seasoning that needed to, that needs to be in there. Okay. So, let's start. Uh first thing we're going to add in is we're going to put some garlic powder in there. And you're going to need a table One and a half teaspoons, sorry guys. One and a half teaspoons. Because you want it to taste like something. I'm eyeballing, so if you really want to, you know, recipe, 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 right as I go. One tablespoon, teaspoon. Y'all forgive me, I keep saying table because I think I'm going to sit at the table. One teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. Now you're going to put in a teaspoon of thyme. Yeah, so I try to get, okay, we go. One teaspoon of thyme. One teaspoon of parsley. And y'all know I go a little bit more. So I use about a tablespoon because I like, I like flavor. Y'all know how I am. All right, let's get some salt in there. I'm gonna use kosher salt. It don't hurt to put some salt in there, it needs it. Let's go ahead and crank that back up. Let's get a little more olive oil in there. You'll need some paprika. I got some, you need paprika and cayenne, but I got some hot smoked paprika, which, uh. All it is is paprika with some cayenne in there, so that's gonna give me what I need. Then I'm gonna put in a little white pepper to uh, make it just a little bit more spicier. But I'm gonna, white pepper is spicy, so you only need a very small amount, a pinch. Really, honestly and truly, you just need a pinch, okay? All right, we're gonna put some cracked pepper in there. Damn, black pepper. All right, so this is where it gets fun. We're gonna need some um, allspice, cinnamon, some nutmeg. So we're gonna put in a dash of allspice. Yeah, my dash is looking a little like it's really running the marathon. Some nutmeg. A little cinnamon. Let's see. All right. Go ahead and squeeze in the lime juice. While we do that, make sure this is nice and oh, we're gonna switch eyes. Turn that. Matter of fact, keep that going. Turn this uh, on high up here. All right. Put a little more olive oil. When it starts sticking to the bottom, put in a, just a little bit more olive oil. And you can chop in there, okay? But you want it in the chunk on that. Mm 
and then stir. All right, add uh, some water. You need to add two cups of water. Cause it don't smell like I want it to smell, but that's just me. Y'all know I'm put some Creole in there, just a little bit, like not even a teaspoon, just like a little splash. Then I want to add in some of uh, a little of this seasoning here. There we go. And if you needed to know, it's jerk seasoning, it's Jamaican style jerk seasoning, is what I do. All right. Alright, this smells good. Alright, let's get the lid on there. And turn it up and let it do its thing. And then we'll be back once it's finished. Alright, so you stop the cooking process and I'm waiting on this so we can open it. Then we're gonna add in some sugar and some lime juice. So while this gets prepped, let's go ahead and the steam come out of there. All right, let's go ahead and cut our lime open because we're gonna need the juice of a lime. We're gonna use the entire lime, okay? So we got that. We're gonna need some sugar. So let's go ahead and get that over here and let me tidy up. I should've did that. Matter of fact, while let's open it, I'm gonna pause y'all and I'm gonna tidy up, okay? All right, so we back. All right, so this is what we got right now. So we need to turn that up on high because we need that water to cook off of there. We're gonna need some sugar. So you're gonna need a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, you gonna stir that in there. Ooh, that smell good. Then you're gonna squeeze in the lime. Entire lime, okay? Oh man, there's juice in there. Sure, 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 sure. I'm super goofy, y'all. I am who I am. I am who I am. I don't apologize for the greatness that has been thrust upon me. <laughs> Not laid upon me, thrust. Thrust with it. All right. Star, darling, star. You want all that gravy that's in there? You can actually stop here and have it as, you know, just like that. But we're going to, uh, I'm going to chop it, chop it just a little bit. And then I want to taste this, see where it's at. I might leave it at the gravy, but you're supposed to kind of let it go and then let it roast a little bit so it's kind of sticky. And you're supposed to cook it for about 30 minutes. You can even go so far as an hour if you want to. Uh, I'm going to try some. Let's see what we working with, babies. Smell delicious. Y'all can't see how cute I am. It's sad. <laughs> All just went on a roller coaster ride. First I was like, I don't like this. Then it went, it hit another flavor. I was like, I don't like this. Then it went like, I don't like this. Like literally I just went on a journey. I am so sorry y'all had to watch that experiment. Damn, that's good. 
It need to cook some more. That's, huh. That's different. I want to add something, and I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't know what it needs. It's, it's, it's spicy. It's flavorful. It's not salty. Let me taste some more to make sure. It might need something. I don't know. Never taste nothing like that. <laughs> that tastes so good. <laughs> Let it keep going because the longer it keeps cooking like this, y'all, it's just like every time I take this little bite, it's like, dude. Hey! We're gonna let that keep doing it. We're gonna die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm talking about none. Seriously. I just needed the brown char, you know, char for a char. I don't need that. Seriously, y'all. Oh my God, this is good. We got the liquid off of that lady do it fine. All right, I got one bag ready. Done with it. So we just waiting on you. All right, so let's let it fry up. Pause for the cow. All right, y'all, so that's what it's looking like. So let's go ahead and fix this plate. So I already got the corn and the green beans on there. So let's go ahead and get some of this jerk. Jackfruit. You see how it shreds up? And that's your plate. 